here and it's time for me to change. It's time for me to grow. It's time for self-improvement. And that's why in this video, I will be trying five healthy habits over the course of a week and we're gonna see how that goes. So the healthy habits that I'm gonna be trying are journaling, walking, specifically trying to reach about 10K steps per day, and then drinking um, between 1.5 to two liters of water consistently. And then I'm also gonna be trying to stay off my phone within the first 30 minutes of waking up. And the last one I'm gonna be trying is making my bed. So yeah, to be honest, the one that I'm like looking forward to trying the most is the 10K steps. I mean, it's springtime here in Toronto, so the weather's a lot nicer this week. And uh, I used to have a habit last spring and summer of walks in the morning. That's why I really enjoyed doing it and I wanted to get back into it. And I thought, okay, why don't I try a few other habits to see if they would help me. And so I'm trying a lot of habits that I wouldn't usually consider trying. So the first one is making my bed. I, I don't usually make my bed unless, you know, someone's coming over, they're coming to my room or whatever. I don't care too much about it. I don't know, I've tried making my bed before and I just, <laughs> I can't be bothered. But I'm gonna try it this week and I will let you know how it goes. The second and third one combined, I kind of put them together. Not looking at my phone within the first 30 minutes of waking up, plus journaling. And the reason I'm doing that is because if I don't look at my phone for 30 minutes, what am I supposed to be doing? Well, why don't I just do the journaling? And that's how I came to pick those two. I don't really journal. I've never really journaled a day in my life. I never had a diary. I didn't write things down. I mean, if I'm going through something and I want to talk out my emotions, you know, I talk to myself in my head or out loud, which is totally normal. And then the third habit I'm going to be trying is taking 10K steps. 10K is just like a really arbitrary number. I know like, it's the ideal that a lot of people say, but that's just a random number that, from my understanding, when they came out with those, like, I think they're called pedometers, basically it like tracks the number of steps you take, and they originally started going up to 10,000, and so that's basically where that number came from, and of course, walking more steps, it's a form of exercise, so it's always good for you, but for me, over the past, you know, several months, I haven't been, like, walking as much. I think my, like, average step for the past few months has been, like, 700, 500, so I figured, now is the time. I'm going for morning walks. I'll just give a random number, 10K. And if I get anywhere near, even if I don't get to 10,000, like I'm happy, I'm satisfied. Walking, I find more enjoyable, especially in the morning, in like the warmer months of like spring, summer, and fall. I find it very peaceful. Uh, and that's why I want to get back into doing it. Final habit that I'm going to be trying this week is drinking water, specifically 1.5 to 2 liters of water. This is specific to me. I have a water bottle that's about 710 milliliters. So I have to drink about two to three per day. And as long as I get two, honestly, it's close enough and I'll be happy with it. I think people are starting to understand that drinking water is like, <laughs> it's very personalized on like how much water you need, depending on, you know, where you live, personal conditions you might have and things like that. So I don't want to tell anyone how much water to drink. I think you can figure that out for yourself. That's all I have to say about that. Those are the five habits I'm going to be trying. I'm doing five habits. I know a lot of people, when they do these kinds of videos, they do like 10 and the reason i'm not doing that is because i think doing things for one week it's more to get a feel for whether or not you like it and if you want to pursue it as like a potential habit because habit i'm not trying to be grammar police or anything but a habit is something you do instinctually instinctively a habit is something that's like second nature like muscle memory and so it's something you start to crave and it feels like you're missing something if you don't do it for example <laughs> this is embarrassing to admit but even in my 20s now i have a uh, habit of having nutella for breakfast every morning and it's something that i can't help it's like as soon as i wake up i gotta have nutella you know it's, what can i do so that's what a habit is to me and so doing this over a week it's not going to become a habit but i think it'll give me the chance to determine whether i find these add something to my life you know uh, whether i feel better about myself if i feel better in general if i feel more motivated or productive or happier i don't know and so my idea is after i've tried them for a week i know if i want to continue to do them from my understanding of like the literature and the research it takes about 66 days on average for an activity to become a habit but of course it's ranges for different people and for different types of activities like the more complex it is the longer it takes and so the range is something like 18 to 254 I'm just freeballing. I have it somewhere in my notes, but I... So for me, doing these for a week, it's not going to change my life. <laughs> Let's be honest. But it's a good way to fill it out. The reason why five is nice is because I can pick a small number and just out of those, pick one or two. I'm very indecisive. The fewer options I have, the easier it is for me. And I also think doing too many things at once kind of feels exhausting. It's like you have homework, like you have chores to do, which I'm not interested in. I, I, I want to be better, but I also want to enjoy my life as it is now. That's why I pick five and then out of the five, I pick one or two and I do them for two months, which is about 66 days. And hopefully by then those habits that I'm trying to implement will actually become second nature and then I don't have to try hard. They don't feel like homework. They don't feel like chores. And so then after two or three months, I can look at a new habit to try and implement. And I can even not do that. 
I can stick to the one or two that I chose before and just keep working on those. Another thing I want to touch on was habit trackers. Um, I don't personally use them. I don't know. I, it, it's not something that ever like felt motivating to me. It felt more like that was a habit that I had to in implement to remember to go back and like check off the things I did. But I get that it can be useful for some people. Like it might be motivating to look at like, oh, I have this many days in a row. And so if I miss today, if I don't do today, then my like record will be ruined. Oh no, let me just, I don't, I don't, I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to put myself in someone else's shoes and it's not working. Well, honestly, it's not something that I use. Like if I'm doing something, it's not even like motivation. It's just like, I want to do it. So I'm going to do it kind of thing. And so I personally don't find habit trackers helpful. That's the point I'm trying to get to, but I can see how it's useful. So I tried it <laughs> this week. And to say I tried it is to like, it's more to say I created a Notion template and then I forgot to track for like the first three days. I will link the one that I made. I'm like someone who likes things very simplified. And so I make it very simple. You get in, you do everything in two minutes, you're done, you're out. Bing, bang, bop, boom, bam. You're done. So yeah, uh, I have the one I made and then I have the one that I kind of based it off of, which I thought would be the most useful for me. So yeah, I'll link it if you guys want to use it, but uh, I didn't use it. <laughs> to get ice cream and then 10,000 steps is like a nice addition. Couldn't fall asleep again Been overthinking all the little things I've said I'm sleep deprived almost every night And I wish that I wouldn't think instead I know the sun is up and I got things to do But I don't think I've got the energy to move And I go back to the gym again It's day two I'm still a little bit Brush my hair, always looking like a mess. Oh, and me at the front, do the press. Give it a little more, I'll be set. I'll wake up, I don't wanna make my bed. I'll save up all my energy instead. You take up all the energy I have inside. And I can't. Just ignore it and I can't really take it anymore Cause I can't stop you from running around through my mind Won't stop 
I just wanna sleep tonight. Yeah, I just wanna sleep. But lately I've been sleeping way too much. Cause baby, I've been dreaming about us. And I can't. So I came back from the walk and um, it was really warm out, so I actually took a shower. That's why my hair is wet. I haven't had any water yet, but I, I really want an iced coffee. So I'm gonna drink the iced coffee and take that in account when I'm drinking water because I'm probably not going to be as thirsty. Um, so it's not that I fail the water challenge, I just drink coffee instead of water, which is totally okay. I also only did like 5,000 steps yesterday, which is fine with me because I actually went on a walk, <laughs> which I don't normally do. So. I'll take that as a win. And 10,000, like I said at the beginning, was like pretty arbitrary. Like if there was no specific reason that I picked 10,000 other than it was like an easy number to choose. So it's fine. I only did 5,000 today, but it's really hot out. Like I was sweating, so I came in earlier today. I might go back out in the afternoon if it like cools off a bit, but it's gonna be like, feels like 32 degrees C today. And I do not do well uh, in anything above 25. <laughs> I did the journaling. I don't know, It's it's been a few days since I started the journaling and I'm finding that I have less Less and less to write about. When I first started journaling, I could um, I could see why people do it. Like I, I get the point, but for me personally, I don't have enough things to write about. And at that point, if I'm just writing to write, it's like I'm forcing it and I start rambling, which is what I do in these videos, but I cut out 90% of it. But when I'm writing it, at that point, it's just like I'm ranting about things and I don't think that's the purpose of journaling. <laughs> and then in terms of making my bed, I have been pretty exhausted these past couple of days. So I just like passed out on top of my duvet uh, with like a blanket covering me. So it's been really easy to make my bed. I just fold the blanket and like straighten out the duvet a bit, but I, I still don't get the point. Um, so it's hot, I'm gonna drink coffee. I did everything today, basically. actually been up since 4 a.m. because I couldn't sleep. It's f***ing 5 a.m. I'm gonna go on the walk and hope that that's gonna help. <laughs> Can you tell it's garbage day? <laughs> six and um, I was really tired yesterday so I woke up late today and as a result <laughs> I haven't really done any of the like habits I'm supposed to and I have somewhere to be in an hour so I don't think walking would be realistic this morning so maybe I'll do it this afternoon so I'll make my bed in the morning but then I'll do the walk and the journaling in the afternoon and I'm starting on the water so there's that but yeah I <laughs> I was really, really tired yesterday. When you're not here, the sun don't shine. When you're not near, I don't feel like I do when you're with me. Felt like suddenly Our souls collided, hearts entwined When I decided to make you mine I'm never
never going back. I know that's a fact, but how do I I'm kind of out of it today and I was really exhausted and I honestly really didn't want to go on this walk this morning but it's like almost almost at the end I figure I'll motivate myself by buying a about seven days and I did all the habits. Yeah, I thought I'd just pop in here at the end and just give my thoughts on it. So I guess I'll start with each habit. The first one would have been, you know, not using my phone in the first 30 minutes, which I found was really easy to do because I was filming this on my phone. So yeah, that's all I have to say about the going on your phone in the morning. I mean, if you want to try it, try it. I mean, there's no harm, but I think um, if you want to get into the habit of not looking at your phone in the morning, do something else instead for sure. I think that really helped me just because like, it was instinctual. I had to do this after waking up so I just didn't look at my phone. The second habit was making my bed. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think it's something I'm gonna continue doing. I didn't like doing it. I don't usually make my bed. It was something I did before. It's not something I like doing. I don't find it something that helps me feel more productive in the morning and like I'm one of those people, I, I think it's a like a common like mentality in a lot of people who don't make their beds but it's like okay if I'm gonna end up back in the bed why do I have to make the bed? So I just I don't get the point. But if you know and you want to enlighten me I, I, I'll, I'll consider other like opinions but I'm I, I think I'm like pretty set on what I'm making now that I've tried it so yeah that's definitely not something I'm doing again it actually ruined my mornings I had to get up and then I had to like remember to make my bed and then I was making my bed in the morning and I'm just like I hate doing this it, it might help some people but it definitely didn't help me and it didn't make my mornings any better <laughs> so it's not something that I'm going to continue doing and then the third one was journaling. That was like an interesting habit for me. It's the one I have the most mixed feelings about because in the beginning, I thought it was like an interesting exercise. I found I had a lot to write about based on the prompt. And I found that it was like quite peaceful. And just the idea of like getting your, like if you're overthinking something, writing it down definitely should like help. It should be helpful. <laughs> and so from that aspect, I can see it. But doing it every day was kind of a bit much for me. Like at some point, I just felt like I was writing for the sake of like having written something. And I was like ranting more than like talking through my feelings feelings or you know just like what journaling is supposed to be about yeah i think daily is it's not a thing that i will be doing <laughs> But I can see myself reusing it if I'm feeling really overwhelmed at some point. I can see it being something I do in that case. So yeah, but I definitely think everyone should give journaling a shot. I mean, there's really not too much risk associated with journaling. And, um, and there's a lot of possible benefits. So it's worth trying like one or two times to see if you're like into it. And then if you're not, you just don't have to ever do it again. So yeah, I recommend it if you're like looking for something new to try. That's all I have to say about journaling. And then moving on to the walking. So I had originally named this 
as like 10k steps a day but I think I sh like I, I mislabeled it I think I like I the goal was to get to 10k but the idea really was to get out in the mornings for a walk and the walks are something that I really enjoy I give them a 10 out of 10 but I think um especially if you're starting out 10k is the goal right if you reach it wow you did amazing but if you like if your average is I don't know 1k and you got to 3k that's still amazing <laughs> Like you should be proud of yourself. Obviously, I like this habit. It's something I used to do. It's something that I'm gonna continue doing. I think though the perspective shouldn't be reaching 10K, but just going out on a walk in the morning. And um, I just walk for however long I feel up to it. Once I'm already out there, if I feel like I can go further, then I will. Yeah, this is like one where I really had to shift my perspective on it because the first day I really did reach 10K. And that's because I had things to do outside. So I had to go on a second walk to reach that 10K. But on the second day, it felt forced. And I'm the type of person where like I need to do something because I enjoy it and not because someone told me I have to. Like if I was planning to do something and then you told me I have to do that thing, I'm gonna be less likely to do it just because I feel like someone's forcing me to do it now. So it has to be something that I want to do myself. And yes, I know it's petty and it's stubborn and I'm working on it, I swear I am. But you know, that's like besides the point, it's just the way I am. And so I kind of changed my perspective on it throughout the week and it wasn't anymore like just reaching 10K. It was going on a walk in the morning and then if I reached 10K, great. But if I got anywhere in the ballpark of 10, five, you know, seven, whatever, then I'd, I'll still be happy because I enjoy the walk and it improved my mood. And at the same time, I'm reaching towards a goal. So I think that's kind of where my perspective is at on it. I think that's the interesting thing about habits. It's not about having to do it every single day. It's about doing it enough over a long enough period of time to make it so that it's like instinctual or kind of like something you crave for and you feel like you're missing something if you don't do it. And so if you miss a day or two, throughout the time where you're trying to implement it, it shouldn't really affect it. And I think there's too much of a focus on being perfect at something and doing it like every single day without missing a single day and like getting a, like an achievement for having done every single day. Like, I don't think that's realistic. It, it, I think it takes the pleasure out of the activity you're doing. Or at least for me, that's the way I feel about it. And so I <laughs> I don't want to give off this perspective that I'm going to be doing this perfectly and I'm going to be amazing at it and every single day I'm going to go out, I'm going to go for a walk, I'm going to get 10k. I might get close, I might actually get 10k some days, I might walk further because the weather's nice and I'm enjoying myself, but I'm not doing it because I have to get to 10k, I'm doing it because it's something that makes me happier. Uh, it makes me feel more productive and it's something that I enjoy doing. Yeah, so highly recommend it. Um, if you don't like walking, maybe it's not for you, but even going outside for 10 minutes, I think it can be very helpful. Okay, and then the final habit I did was drinking 1.5 to 2 liters of water, ideally, but other fluids included. And I think for this one, because it was really, really hot out uh, this whole week, it was really easy to reach because I felt thirsty and it, I had water right next to me. So it was easy to just reach for, whereas usually I don't have anything and then I'm like, oh, it's so far, I don't want to go get it. So yeah, it was a, it's a habit that I'm going to try. Like this is one I actually have to work on because <laughs> I have to bring water or I have to just like consistently pay attention to like my body signals because sometimes if I'm too focused on something, which I, I tend to get like overly focused onto what I'm doing, I forget to drink water, I forget to eat, I forget to get up and move around. I just like, I just, I'm in the zone. I realize I haven't had anything since 9 a.m. It's like 5 p.m. I haven't had a sip of water. You know, I just, I get too focused on things sometimes. And so like, I think it's something I have to like consistently have in the back of my mind. Yeah, I think it's a great habit to have. Um, and I just think it's it's better to aim for around the right range for you and listen to your body. And I think it's very personalized. Don't not drink enough, but don't drink too much either. And just, you know, your body knows what it's doing. <laughs> It's very well regulated unless you have some other health issues, which like that's besides the point that th this isn't like a like a health recommendation or anything like that. But just like try to be more conscious of what your body body's telling you. So yeah, that was just like, you know, a little ramble for me on habits. I think I've said enough about this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it to be useful. Maybe you learned something new or maybe you saw something you want to try. Maybe something you know you're never going to try now. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.